Welcome everyone to the May edition of Imbali Live. My name is Helen Harimbi. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, I'm so happy to see you. Um, Imbali Live. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Imbali Live. Um, Imbali basically started as a podcast that was intent on giving key players in South African music their flowers while they can still smell them as they tell us their stories. And last September it became a live event and here we are at the May edition. So because we don't have too much time, because um, we were supposed to start at two, my bad, um, I'm actually gonna try and succinctly introduce this next guy to you. Um, he has over 30 years in the music industry and in impacting culture. Um, he is one of the most prolific producers South Africa has ever seen. He is an original architect of Guaido and he is a proud Bansula. Please welcome Mandla Spekiri Mufuking. Thank you so much for coming. So here's your mic. Hola, the counter is fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're here because I feel like Abantabaningi, they don't actually know your story from scratch. Like for most of the people here, you've been a part of their lives in some way or another for over 30 years. So let's take it back way, 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 way back. Ne? <laughs> mm. Even even before that, actually. So when you were growing up, Ukulele e Midlands, ne? Yeah, in Dofai. So what was it like growing up when you were a kid? It looks, it looks exciting because it's always, there's always something happening all the time. But I just, you know, Tines, we looking like, you know, we grew up in the you know. But, uh, you know, it that then you like, we always, the plant line, I said that then it's, it's got music. And like, lucky enough, my father was a musician. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about it I said that thing. I will just take it from where I started. Yeah. Like, I was like, I was much I was a shot when I took fell in my party. I was <clears throat> and we used to have a band in Latin. Manami was like a guitarist yeah. and a singer. So we used to play outside in the Ishnana. People would like throw money there, you know. So that's how I grew up. And, and then we started, uh, when we started, I took Chaiba, my festivals. And Nase took Ferin. That's where I'm, uh, like, I met Uchaka Rumba. Yeah. Like we used to dance with my festivals and all the competitions, all the competitions we used to enter, we were like, we won almost all of them. Mm. But know, initially, Benin a jive, you know, you too, ne? Initially, No, Benin. that time, Charos began a kriyak, the Pelaktala began a gangsters. Charos began a kriyak, and I'm being the kriyak. So, Benin had its competition, I'm a class, you would say, Uban, much I have an unswim, but you're selling your class, like, Uban, Pansol, and swim, but you're selling your class, you have so we used to compete and win our competitions and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Then I met to challenge because in stock fell up vibes been a eternist. Then as in the Kriak, it was like out is in Tembele out in season seven, end of five, Tina eight to season nine, the one I started in the stock fell up because we used to have it isn't as far as stock fell and the support, you know, I'm a member mm -hmm. and then Always there will be like a dance competition. You go to Namachita and I'll just talk for like as I know, but I never, I'm trust them more, you know? Yeah. So we used to dance then. <laughs> From there, we had any prior to babies of Steve Marquez. And Chico already that time was, they said, listen, it's so good. We can dance with Amantwana We can dance. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the guys are like a follow-up album. Yeah, one. And then we wanted to dancers. And then now we on a spot. 
we were to stiff my case. Then we organized like a competition. We were busy like 20 dancers and something like that. We were not sure and some of them were busy. Then we, we won the festival. Then that's, that's where incredible. like... Yeah, that's where like everything started. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's. what was it about uh, Chaka 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 Rumba that made you feel like, yo, me and another guy, me let's bond even. You know what? I was a good dancer. But now nah, he was a super good dancer. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we ended up with our pinch. Why not be the partner of the Bupra so that we can be able to take one Kalama festival? So yeah. yeah, I understand. So that's how we met. Then we won, we won that competition. The Den Chico was chill out to know I'm going to video that I'm shooting very soon. Yeah, I need some money. And Vela was looking for my dancer, so much it's a fan and I'm a panzula solo machine. And then, you know, from there, I never look back. Yeah. I never like, you, tell, you know, this is what I always wanted. I love music. I love dancing. And I, I used to admire that song, Yeah, I can have one to you know, I want to be there one day. I want to be on TV, you know. Yeah. I want to be known. I want to be famous. So, <laughs> so that you was did. my chance. Yeah. And then, that was in there. This is my chance. And, if you get another chance, I will never get another one. Yeah. Then I take it, I took it from there, you know. Yeah. So, That's where my career started. Mm. So I heard the story. Can you guys imagine? Ohela Petlasin. Oh man, we found these Africans. And then somebody tells you, Guti, there's somebody who's looking for you outside Emotuin. Can you tell us that story? Um, Not you. The guest of honor must tell us this story. <laughs> no, when after that festival, I mean, we won. Don't you got to know, I'm shooting a video next week. So like, when you get a class, and what is it? You get a teacher, you get a teacher, you get a pride. You get a song, you get a song, you get a song. Serious, my kid. You get a song, you get a song, you get a song. In Pinji, to Africa, Africans. I manage one day, manage me about ten look to a test care level. So any problem with Kerala, be ten look by, look by Kerala like I'm a homework. So handwriting yag, basically, ne say teacher part of Italy handwriting yag fun. So one day, I want more and funa. We volume yango, pam wama window, and be at the chair opposite the class lamp building ada. Wang to ne say I want shang a cane fun. Afule ni mnyanga, afuna witi lechere ya minga rainbo. Rainbo, nene? Na mata, na ma... Na ma student nga ra, hey, from that thing, I'll quite apply. Kanti the following day, chuku zozo waga, azong landa fo inda ba evi. Yeah. Then tuana, so atole nyin tuana nga panji. Then tuana azwa ali windu, mungo bengtala nasi windu, enda wendi teske. Yeti, eh, paske. Yegu second row, eh, move. Yaz tina bo, eh, wetle ba yana, bestiana na ta. Eh, move. Koko, koko, hey. Bola, kuno mungu kufuna yada mtuban, ata ni kwa manwa tu chigo. Ai, ene pia ni pizi ya para la pogo plekpot. Yu alama mwenye la bwa vulega soya mwan, na shingi mwan, na kere kere. Gone. Since that day, I have went back to school. Asa ni sabi ya deske, na wafit. It's not, it's not. I'm not proud of that. I'm not. I, I don't want to lie. You know, it's not nice to not be educated. It's new, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I always talk about guys go to school, do mm -hmm. that, do that, you know. Yeah. But, you know, lucky enough, I, I didn't waste my talent. Yeah. I made use of it. Mm. That's why today I'm a king to father. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Like, and I, and I never looked back from then. I, I was like, I started, I was like a dance, and I'm going to check my show with me. And I'm like, that's a job, and I'm going to check it, and I'm going to go shop, and someone had to work, you know? So, I'm going to go to the house, and 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 I'm going to go to the house, you understand? So, I think it's scary, I said, I wanted to be like a band member, that's my intense, and sometimes, 
Maniti nesho win bando kusali saja bata isala wini pasil kwele. And then abak bata ali. And then we attend sa wenza na ujali kibota uke impote ya uke lati impote. Nga eske elu ya fuba just to ukufundi piano just amukbamba njama kose ya bon. Then after that, then I started producing. I started being a pen member with Chico. Then 89. And uh, when I was a pen member with Chico, like... I used to meet them too. Yeah, but so, and then I, I had the scene down, I mean. So, it was one day, we must just copy, we must do our own thing, yeah, but. Then, I was you know, my 89, they started like, I said, I'm not sure we're not doing too much of music. So, I'm not going to my business, like, you know. So, we started MM Deluxe. Yeah. Actually, we curated quiet. That's when quiet was started. Yeah. But how did you know, Uguti, because it sound that Chico was not what you guys started doing? Uh, well, about Chico, you know, they used to sing about politics then. I think it was the apartheid era. So they used to go to the we miss you, Manelo. But bottom line was, we miss you, Mandela. Where are you? You understand? So, of course, you couldn't say it that time. Yeah, but those were Bosch and all that stuff. Yeah. So, and 89, but I do around that time, what he, he was going to go out. He was going to be out of, so he was going to be free. Yes. Yeah. So, we, we, we sat down with, you know what? We can't be singing the same songs. The school, the school of Mahorod man. Well, now we are Puma and let's just make people happy. Let's do, let's create music that will make people dance and just, but, but I would back out, but, but it's more yeah. because now Monday we are Puma and things are going to change, you know, for the better, you know. So we started quite then. Yeah. Yeah. That's a make guys. And I we started the giant is still here yeah, today. <laughs> um, so then MM Deluxe is interesting because you have these two producers ne, who are also not just producers. Basically, as opposed to saying, I'm only going to produce music or I'm only going to do vocals. Why did you want to do everything? Well, why do you mean everything? Like sing mm. solo albums? You know, so stuff. instead of saying to people, we're going to do the music and then you come and you do vocals. You wanted to do everything. You wanted to be involved with everything. And the, you know, our passion was not, not to be involved in everything. We, were, we just wanted to create something that will make people, something special that will make our people happy, you know. We, our vision was to be like Obochigo, you know, because I used to, I've learned a lot from him. So our focus was like more of being one of the best producers in the world and creating beautiful music, make people happy, building and owning our own label one day, 100% plate label. So our focus was in like venturing is in anything that time. It was just we were concentrating on building our careers and our brands. You yeah. Know? So now it's thirty years later, thirty years after <laughs> MM Deluxe. More, more than yeah. <laughs> but after MM Deluxe in particular, no? yeah. So what is your favorite memory, Alice Oscar, when you were creating music Nomdu? Our first album is MM Deluxe. And I've been seeing one. I've been we started this when we were very young. Very, very, very young. It, 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 it sold gold. Yeah, but that's also like how oh, people love the new sound that we came with. Yeah. But it was, people, they always love fresh things. You know, you can't keep on feeding them into the tail all the time. That's why we have to be versatile so that we can be able to change with times. But, that still don't lose your identity. So we came up with something. We've learned from Uchiku. We came up with a sound that was ours, but with the influence. It was Mahol Man at that time. You know? 
So our first album went gold. I yeah. mean, for the first time we do our party gold disc. I'm also in a koala. Hey, yeah, when so when I was still in the same class, we have one. Yeah, yeah, first time. <laughs> so that was that moment, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, what you mentioned that Ngale Malobi Oboi Tola as a dancer. You were giving back a kaya and all of that, but what is yeah. something that you bought for yourself? I mean, I know Charles best George. No, I'm serious. Yeah, yes, yeah. Ganjan. There was a shop I visited. On, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a sneakers worker now. I'm a Adidas. I'm a take. I'm a pair. I'm a pair. Yeah. But I'm a pair. So I sang a number two. So the three I'm a slipper. So I'm a long gane shop. Wash your pants with that thing. Wash your foot for a match. Upumezo to a match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a nagging cat too. Yeah, like my mother's super matic. He's some kind of a provide to a fan. I ain't a but I know. Take, take your size. We are, I'm a cool. Take your size. We are, be a tad and a pan size. I go. Marutata Tabul. Fit to fit anyone who found a pants with Fagama Soviet signal with Fagamazan. We are not a lily, you know. We are deposit of you, but we change the color. I love it, but I love I want phone. Yeah, Lily Brown. And a banana. We used to hustle, we were hustlers, you know. Yeah, and we were selling our carry bags, our pool, and we were, we were, we, we, we've been hustling all our lives. Yeah, but uh, you know, again, the we were smart, we were more smarter streetwise. Mm. Yeah, one. We were not smart book wise, but we were smart at streetwise. We yeah. were smart at streetwise. You can't tell me anything about streets because in Kulele Strat in general. Yeah. So we used to survive, you know, we were, but it sent us have a strong. Now we're family men. We, we own Galawa Chase, me, 100% yeah. company that we always dreamed of, you know. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. sure. So, in the next section, we're going to talk about Galawa Jasmine. We're going to talk about Trompis and a little bit more about that stage. So, do you guys have any questions about MM Deluxe or about anything we've discussed? I'm going to ask you, it's Slowish. Do you guys have any questions? There's a question at the back there and over here. Uh, we can start w- over here and then we'll come to Splash after. Uh, Mina, I think in Funogui Buza, within that era, end of fire, Bogunia, uh, Ama Spaces, Avaya, Abaya, Wuti, are we creative? You know, they're creative. For instance, I understand Wuti, even when you want to first cast a Sarafin, we are my ten. You know, uh, like for instance, our Pratabo, you know, what he was. He um, is into a, a bit truggy around that era from Amayama Kasi, Indo Fire specifically. What made it different that given the culture to the point that neither the seed a quieto today? Amayama Kasi, we are not. As Indo Fire, he had a lot of talent. As Indo Makasi, Amakasi won't have a talent. The things. It depends on when you make a total opportunity to go about Nagala. Yeah, but even though I had a lot of, I'm not sure like most of the best dancers was what told me. Pansula dancers was what told me the fire. About Atha Maisel, about Sendo Fire, about Pevi Cheik Matala. But yeah, yeah, understand it. There's a lot of jet talent. Yeah, but a lot of and then lucky enough they had that that opportunity with someone about sport. Yeah, but then about big. Gulam light, but I would talk about the talent, my brother. Make no mistake. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. We have another question. Cross Pigijo. Oh, yeah, buddy. Kolubuza man. Sure. Speaking about the Malpa, my friend, and Abu Abamwebi, MMT Lux. Yeah. Umkulo was a cast to preserve our journey. Corners of was who exercise time goes on because it's hard to find the Malpa, my friend, and the Malpa, my MMT Lux, and so on. Uh, you know, because of, at that time, uh, MMT Lux, I had to be at that time. So, I'm a master's, most of them were on my ingam. That's why we decided with us in. I span into spaces, span in We are the one who are creating music. And 
they are one born they are the ones who are chowing money and holding our masters and my, all our publishing and all the stuff you know then it was you know so lesson go my hard to get right now like in goma from that time but what i can assure you guti all the songs as a sekala wa chase me we own them all the masters are ours and that was the reason why we wanted to open up the club <laughs> Um, so what I want to know is how much or how big of an influence did the sound levelings about Chico Lokea have on what was quite or what you guys would call quite or because quite a very baseline orientated and I'm seeing the same thing with Amapiano Manj like when I'm in Amapiano Manj and you sound like about Chico mean it is slowed down yeah yeah sure it's still the same quite or Chico still have that film yeah well, yeah so in terms of was like in terms of it decision and men says to the men can't do it like was it always ringing in the way kind of with the going just cool this is a lento layer so let to see kind of man i found long if a fair guy cool now let's put my coin yeah you know what they like you know you have to it's not about that you understand your own people you understand what the one yeah one and develop a bit of fun with that influence yeah my good man the poem as much as you know my piano fan that but still there's that influence my good man and this influence the quiet to this even some of the hip hop guys now are playing quiet because if and another thing it's our culture is our thing it's not like my medicine change my sense that it's an american thing when we are not in america so we have to keep that that abon mut magak mamela i feel with layers of that you understand what i mean and that manje and then when i land it sounds like yes yeah i yeah, understand what i'm saying so you have to keep that thing a uh, corner but at the same time make sure that it doesn't sound the same like the old one